man, that's deep. That's really deep, guys. I mean, if you listen to that, you'll know that there's something really, really uh, pertinent. Everything that she's saying, it blows my mind when I think about this. I mean, I, I'm just like in awe about this because there's something there's something to this, guys. You know, you can't. I mean, she's a she worked with the most famous engineer, Nazi engineer, mind you. He was taken from uh, Nazi Germany after the war uh, with Hitler. That was one of Hitler's scientists. He know he's good. He's you know uh, everything he does. That's why we have the reason that we have ICBMs missiles that can travel across the world is because of this man. And this man is saying so many things about there are other alien races out there. They want peace. For some reason, the dark government forces here on this planet don't want peace. And uh, it's a scary situation we're in because they seem to be in control of everything. And that's what they call the Illuminati, the elite, whatever you want to call them, right? Uh, This is what we face. This is the nemesis of humanity as a whole. Not just here, but it seems like not just on a global scale, but an intergalactic scale. So basically, I think our planet is being held hostage by whatever this is, you know. And she's telling us that Dr. Werner von Braun himself was suggesting this idea and telling us each and everything that would happen from biological to terror threats. The last straw would be that they're here to harm us. That's what's going on. They're here to cause us harm. They're here to hurt us. So interesting that she's saying this she's like they're trying to instill fear into us and he didn't believe in that for some reason obviously well not for some reason but for a damn good reason actually so i just think it's really strange that we have these things going on if we look i'll show you uh another video that i have here that i thought was uh could be very pertinent uh you know into this idea as well this is something that we have to look at check check this out okay this is what we, what we looked at last night, but I want you to take a look at this now, okay? Let's see this here. The House Oversight Committee is in the beginning stages of planning a hearing on UFOs. This follows claims from a whistleblower that the U.S. government is keeping secret its studies of an extraterrestrial craft. Air Force veteran and former intelligence official David Grush sat down with investigative journalist Ross Coltart, who's reporting for News Nation. Coltart is an award-winning journalist and author who has reported for the Australian version of 60 Minutes, as well as other programs. He has spent years investigating the UFO question. Grush said the military has kept a UFO program secret from the public and from Congress for decades. When you say crash retrieval, what do you mean? Uh, These are retrieving non-human origin uh, technical vehicles, you know, call it spacecraft, if you will. Uh, It's probably not the right parlance, but uh, no kidding, non-human, exotic origin vehicles that have either landed or crashed. We have spacecraft from another species. Just to make sure you understand, he didn't say spice. He said space. By the way, his accent sounded like spacecraft. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm a cuckoo, but listen. Jeez. We do, yeah. The revelations have sparked a debate in public view and a slew of articles this week, some calling for full disclosure by the government of any and all information on non-human aircraft. And the interest in UFOs may only intensify as Congress gears up for this hearing when we could hear from David Grush this time testifying. Investigative journalist Ross Coltart, who interviewed Grush, joins us now and Ross, I got to tell you, the public reaction to this interview has been really strong and deeply divided between those who've long believed the government has such craft and those who believe that those who do believe it are wearing tinfoil hats. Are you surprised? (laughs) I'm not surprised in the least, Elizabeth. I I think we're all entitled to be skeptical. I think what Mr Grush wants, though, is for his allegations to be tested. I mean, one of the things I think that people need to remember is he has given evidence under oath to both of the intelligence committees in the Congress, the House Intelligence Committee and the Senate Intelligence Committee, and he's also given evidence under oath to the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community. And his allegations have been supported by the Inspector General as being both urgent and credible. You know, a lot of times when they show this footage, if you don't know, sorry, I'm in New York, guys. It's always like this. Um, 
every time they show like a lot of the footage of ufos and you see this with the target right there usually that's because that person is inside an aircraft it could be an f-16 an f-14 something that's most likely a jet fighter and uh they're out there and they and they when you see that target you know it's military you know that's air force you know so this is what they're getting and i guess if the air force is able to target and lock on to these things i don't know why they'd be doing that but or my, most definitely we know why they're why, why they're trying to find out what they are because this could be a defense situation if in case or if in fact that they are considered uh hostile in 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 such ways but i don't believe because dr Werner von braun said that most of them or majority of them are not hostile it seems like we or not us, but the people here that are in control, whoever's controlling the earth is hostile. It's very interesting, actually. When you say his allegations were found, I mean, the IG is taking the complaint, urge, it's urgent and credible. Is it urgent and credible that he had, he suffered some sort of blowback for, for trying to make this public or that his actual story itself about extraterrestrial craft is, is urgent and credible? Well, what we do know is that in support of Mr. Grush's allegations, a number of people did testify in camera to the Inspector General and they supported Mr. Grush's allegations. We know that Mr. Grush has given allegedly the locations of where these craft are stored, the names of the people in charge of the program and the gatekeepers allegedly controlling access to that program. By just really quick, I just want to say that the gentleman that did give the uh, information to us, I think it's Mr. Grush, right? I think that's his name. But if it is true, this whistleblower gave all this information. He has all that information that, that man just said, you know, the locations and the people who are in charge. If he ends up mysteriously dying as well, we know that, that, that that's unfortunately, that's like a popcorn, you know, piece of popcorn in the forest. That means we're on the right track. I hate to say that, but it's the truth, the truth about how these things work. It seems like, you know, people that are significant to this turn out to be the breadcrumbs when they die of whatever path, whatever path they were on. So we have to follow it kind of sucks, but I'll show you what I mean later on. OK. Both from within the Pentagon and from apparently a private aerospace company. And you did very carefully vet David Grush before you sat down with him. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Grush is, I've, I've spoken probably to a dozen people in the intelligence community who've confirmed That's that Mr. Grush. Grush is a person of absolutely impeccable reputation. He uh, left the military in April with high commendations from his commanders. And as was seen by people earlier this week in the debrief in the article by Leslie Kane and Ralph Blumenthal, there are people who've spoken on the record in support of Mr. Grush's claims, including a, 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 a bird colonel called Carl Nell, who's basically supported the fact that, quote, we are not alone. Ten seconds. Extraordinary allegations that yeah. I know require... E and, and just... Uh, ...require extraordinary evidence. But the simple fact is they need proof. I've I got to ask you, ten seconds. Do you believe him? I do. I think he's highly credible, and I think his allegations should be investigated. All wow. right. Ross Coulthard, well, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Good to have you on.